Okay, so let's talk about the uh, unnatural logarithm. Uh, it should be noted that this is not a standard piece of verbiage. Okay, so I want to consider a weird exponential function. You guys remember a weird exponential function? No. <laughs> okay, that's a fair complaint. <laughs> How about one that doesn't look like the other exponential function? Right, so I'm thinking like y is something raised to the x, right? A negative exponential. Yeah, so if I remember these things are kind of restricted to being positive at least, right? And if they're smaller than one, they make exponential. Yeah, exponential decay, and if they're bigger than one, they make exponential growth. Yes, so an unnatural logarithm. So what would be the weird one then? No growth. Yeah. How, how would you get no growth? Yeah. You just make it one. Yeah, you make it one. You guys with this? Yeah, one to the any power. So. If it was zero, yeah. You just found the you just found the exponential growth of the universe. So what would this look like? What's the picture for this one? One. Oh Yes. Yeah. It is it it is itself a horizontal line, right? And thus it fails the horizontal line test. Horizontal line test. Yeah. Is it yeah. Right, because it a function fails the horizontal line test, right? When a, a hor when some horizontal line hits it more than one time. It hits it every single time. This thing hits it infinitely many times. That's funny. Right? That's bad. This thing doesn't have an inverse. Right? Which is why we're never going to write log base, log base one. one. X. Like, what are you going to get? Is there anything that would work? Yeah. So this is asking, right? What power of one is this number? The power of one is any number. You guys see that? Any like, if I wrote this in exponential form, if I wrote, like, w is log base 1 of x, right? That would mean that 1 to the w power is x, right? So you can get any number, because x is any real number, right? X is all the numbers. Yeah, so x should be some positive real number, right? right. And I should be able to answer this question. Yeah. But I can only answer this question x when x is 1. Yeah. And then the answer is, well, whatever. Anything you want. Yeah. It could be anything. You guys see that? Except for like Okay, so this thing's just problematic. We're not going to do log base 1, and this is why. Because the 1 to the x function is a horizontal line. It fails the horizontal line test, so there is no inverse. Oh, yeah. Is there, is there... And I like that. That was a great exchange, so let's do it up here. So if you took your 1 to the x function... Okay. So I have here my 1 to the x function, right? And then I should what? To get the inverse? I should flip it, right? And my horizontal line becomes a vertical line. And now it miserably fails the vertical line test, right? Which is why the horizontal line test is a thing. You guys see that? The horizontal line test is really just running the vertical line test on the graph you get after you flip it. Yeah, that makes sense. Let's call that? Yeah. So cool. Okay.